In this video, we're gonna examine several new AI technology-based scams. This video is gonna help protect you and your family from the upcoming dangers. Smash like, let's go. So the first crime we're gonna look at here is deep fake porn. To me, I've got a daughter who's seven years old and this terrifies me. And this example has to do with a famous Twitch streamer, Sweet Anita. She's a Twitch streamer. She's not a porno actress. She's just a Twitch streamer. And what ended up happening is another big Twitch streamer, his name is Atrioc, decided to hire someone to create deep fake porn of her and some other major, major Twitch streamers. So what does that mean? Well, basically, you're taking someone's face and superimposing it onto pornography. Like, can you imagine showing up to school? It's summer break is over. You're so excited for the first day of school. It's, it's high school. You're about to start. And then everybody is snickering and laughing at you because one of the bullies in the school decided to show yourself getting rammed from behind. They took a picture of you off of your Facebook page and then they superimposed it onto pornography. And now the entire school sees you as a porno actor or actress. This terrifies me because as you can see here, once you produce something like this for the internet, it can never really truly be removed. So what's gonna happen is you go off to college, you go for a job and someone searches for your name on the internet. What do you think is gonna pop up? Probably the stuff that was the most controversial and that my friend could definitely be porn. I don't know how we're gonna handle this. Thankfully, we've got Kamala Harris in the White House. She's our AI czar. I think she probably has this under control, but if not, we need to be thinking about how we can get this deep fake porn in line. This to me is terrifying as a father. So let's move on to an, another type of crime that to me is terrifying. And this is AI imagery, fake AI, AI images. And this has already hit the main stage in the presidential campaigns. Right now we're in the Republican primary. One of the more heated competitions is Trump versus DeSantis. So the DeSantis camp, this is shocking to me. The DeSantis camp released images that were AI generated and posing them as real. I, I cannot tell you how shocking this is. So what we have here is we have six images of Donald Trump and Anthony Fauci. I'm not using the word doctor because Fauci, I don't know that you deserved it, but we've got some pictures here of Fauci and Trump, some of which are real. You see here Trump and Fauci standing together and then others of Trump kissing and hugging Fauci. These are not real. These are fake. You can actually see here, if you look at this image, look how long Trump's arm is as he hugs behind Fauci. That's not a real image. These are not real images. And you know what's even more shocking when we go over here to X, formerly known as Twitter, the images are still up. The images are still up. And DeSantis in his camp have not withdrawn those images. So a few issues here. Listen, politicians lie all the time. That's what politicians do. If I think politician, I think slimy, lying, warmongering, dirtbag. And um, bipartisan here, I think, you know, whether you're on the left or the right, I think we can agree that politicians will say anything and give you anything to get your vote. It's, it's honestly, it's pretty sad. Come on, guys, girls, can we pull it together? Can we just be honest for a second? But that's besides the point. The problem here is our news cycle moves so fast. So once you've seen an image like this, you can't unsee it. Just like we saw before, once an image is on the internet, it's there forever. So let's say I'm scrolling through Twitter or I'm watching the news. I see the image. I immediately think, okay, Trump was kissing Fauci. Even if, even if that politician removes the image and says, oops, sorry, it was a mistake. That was AI generated. The damage has already been done. And we're about to go into, I think, an extremely heated and hot presidential campaign. We're going to be seeing more of this. So this, to me, is a major crime. This, I, you know, this is a crime, my opinion. And again, we've got our AI czar, Kamala Harris. She might take care of it. But in case she doesn't, we need to be thinking about what are we seeing? What is real? What is fake? Because these AI images, these AI videos are becoming obscenely realistic, like, obscenely realistic. And you know what's funny to me? I'll talk to people 
and I'll say, check out this AI or check out this image. What do you think? Is this real or fake? And immediately they know it's going to be a fake. And they'll say, oh, yeah, well, you know, I can tell by that weird lighting or there's like a hair that's out of place. Bull crap. You didn't know it's AI. You just knew it's AI because I laid up the question within the context of AI. The reality is when you're scrolling through Twitter, when you're scrolling through Instagram, you are not going to be able to tell who's real, who's fake, what's real, what's fake. And this, my friends, is one of the scariest things going into this presidential election, going into this new world order that we've got here. I mean, this is shocking. And quite frankly, DeSantis, as the Floridian, thank you so much for opening up our state when the COVID lockdowns were happening and everything was locked down and businesses were shut down. You opened up. You were the first. So mad props on that. This, though, my friend, this is a big problem, brother. You got to take this down. You have to apologize. We cannot run politics with fake AI generated images. This is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly scary and problematic. Um, I will say here, though, that uh, readers added context to this image, which sometimes the adding context, I think, is kind of bunk. But in this case, it's really freaking important. The problem, though, as we mentioned before, the damage has already been done. The image has already been seen millions of times. We see 10 million views of this image. How, what percentage of those 10 million views do you think believe that this was real? I'm betting a pretty large percentage. All right, cool. Let's move on to another hugely problematic scam that we're seeing in the AI world, and that is AI scammers. Here we're going to the FTC, and scammers are using AI to enhance their family emergency schemes. So this is the way it works. You get a call. And there's a voice on the line that's really panicked. It's your son, it's your grandson, it's your granddaughter, it's one of your family members. And they say, help, help me, I'm in big trouble. I need you to send me $2,000 ASAP or else they're going to kill me. Please wire it to my Venmo account. Here's the link. I need the money right away. What do you do? It's your loved one. What are you going to do? Of course you're going to send them the money. But before you realize what's happened, this is not a real person. This is an AI-generated voice of your son, grandson, daughter. It's fake. It's not real. And AI audio has gotten so good. I actually recorded an entire podcast on this topic. I'll put a link down in the comments so you can check that out. This entire episode is AI-generated. What I did is I uploaded a sound clip of my voice. It doesn't even need to be a lot. It can only be, let's say, a few seconds, 30 seconds of audio. The AI will mimic your voice, it'll mimic your inflection, and it's getting really, 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 really good. I don't know what to tell you. This scam is going to just take hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars from people that don't understand what's happening. You, though, are watching this video, you're watching this channel, you've liked and subscribed, so you're going to be up to date on the newest tech here. You're going to understand what's happening in the industry because this is a big freaking deal. So what can you do? If you get this call, you hang up, you call that person back on their cell phone. You don't act as if this is the, the right number because it's probably an unlisted number. The second thing you can do is have a code word. You have a safe word with your family. Me and my family have a code word so we know what's real, what's fake. What do you think? What are the biggest crimes that you're seeing? Smash the like button, leave a comment below, and I will be sure to cover it in the next video. Peace.